Hello, everybody. Um, <laughs> let's paint a part sheet. The reason I'm doing this is I have an idea for a mosaic, and I can't find the right glass for it. So I'm going to reach back into my memory and end up painting with glass line. I, I bought this kit a long time ago, so some of these might be pretty wonky, but um, they should work. Anyhow, I uh, have the extra tips, but I've got a little tip on here. I think this is going to be good. I'm going to um, try and speed it up for you when I get to the coloring part. Um, I had seen this one a while ago, and I've used it before in some other designing. So I know my black is running. What I need is some squiggles because this is going to get cut up. So I don't need it to be um, I don't need it to be a drawing per se because I am going to be chopping the heck out of it. So I'm going to put this black down for my design and then I am going to dry it um, hopefully I have a little mini hair dryer out here if not I've got oh, that's a little smiley face and you can put as much of this as you'd like um, I want to make sure that when I cut it, there's some sort of black in the pieces. And I'm doing it with the paint um, because I want it to be more opaque. Um, let me dry this and come back to you. I'm sure you don't want to wait until paint dries. And our fake spring has gone, so it's cold in the studio. It'll take forever to dry if I just let it sit. Um, back in a few minutes. Okay, I stuck a white paper towel underneath because it's going to get a little bit messy, but it might make it easier for you to see um, what I'm doing. And really, this one, I just want it to be like graffiti. No particular pattern, just colors. So I'm shaking up all my stuff, and these are pretty loose. And I'm going to put carbon blue in the middle on top of that black. But again, I'm not going to worry too much about where it's going and what it looks like. Because we're going to kind of swoosh it around. So let me put some orange. Orange and blue is always fun. And the reason I dried the black is I didn't want it to interfere with these colors. See how that orange is doing that thing and I mean we're gonna do some tipping and what doesn't move on its own we're gonna help it because <laughs> um, really some of these dots aren't moving too well they're kind of thick and cold but in the meantime I'm gonna put some more of these colors because we will help them along this one is Kelly green Ooh, it's pretty thick. You can water these down um, with just plain old water. Let me borrow this guy's pen. There we go. Kelly's a little thick. 
I haven't used these in a while. Um, and I'll probably quit talking so that I can speed it up for you. And we'll get to the... Um, Probably not a good idea to shake it without the pin. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did y'all see that? I sent the pin flying. My yellow's not blended very well. And it has one of those... Um, tips on it so it's not coming out as fast. I think yellow is going to come in handy for what I have in mind. Put my pen back in. is turquoise and trust me the super fun parts coming some red orange Kind of looks like Jackson Pollock. Just some regular orange. Did I already do this? I did. Lavender. Lavender seems to be stuck. Ha. Now we're going to see what moves on its own. Because some of these are way looser than others. Might add a little white. Don't want the white to overcome. Just white. What did I do with my, oh, here it is. So this is just from Lowe's. <laughs> Any hardware store that has grout would do this.
And I'm just going to pull back and forth. Try not to over blend. It's kind of hard because it gets really fun. make sure I get all of this to the edges so some of it I will pull and try not to disturb the black underneath but I really don't want um I don't want to see through it. So here is a gentle touch. to try to not blend the colors too much. You may have to stand up whatever tool you use. Because if you use it flat, it's going to um, smoosh the colors together more. got this on our turntable so I should turn it some of the little light spots I'll, I'll, I'll leave because I don't want to lose my blending and if you find that it's not moving for you just add a little bit more of a color Preferably a really liquidy one, like the white was. And if you have the water down, if they're pretty liquidy for you. You can pick it up and tilt it side to side like I did originally. And sometimes that'll move it all the way across your piece depending upon how big your piece is and how much you have down. I don't want to keep adding too much white. Put a little yellow here. And of course, with all the colors that I added, you've got some really interesting shades. And if you overblend, you end up with like a gray. I'm going to do another one that I need that, um, has a lot of the metallics in it. So I've got a gold and a um, copper. Kind of makes you think of that paper dyeing stuff, right? Where you dip it in the water and the ink is on top of the water. Now, I need to let this dry just a little bit, but 
I'm gonna try, oh, there's a really big spot there, I'll try and show this to you. And let's see if I can flip it over. See how you got the black in there? And it gives you those swirlies. So you'll be able to use oops, both sides of your glass. And if you like this side better, obviously use this side. Where is that big spot where my finger was? Oh, there it is. And I did, you can tell on the black underneath there, I did pull a little bit too hard and put some gaps in the black. But anyhow, this is number one. And I'm gonna set it aside. When you put it in the kiln, obviously if you ramp up rather slowly, like about 200 to 50 even 300 it's going to dry your paint for you as it ramps so it won't be sorry i had to get my other sheet it won't be um too bad there but i need this is a bigger piece so i'm going to put a little triangle here more stability. Now this, I have some of this color line, which I bought it for one particular commission a long time ago, but I also have the glass line gold. So I'm sure you can mix the two, but I think the color line comes out slightly different. Um, now, oops, this one the thought that I had for what I needed is the turquoise. I'm gonna put down a base of these colors. If it'll cooperate, getting thick again, I guess. It's stuck in the top. Need to get another toothpick. And actually this one I need a lot of anyhow, so whoop, we'll just do it like that. What did I do with my... All right, I got this little chip brush. It's not my first choice because it usually leaves hairs, but I'm gonna put the turquoise around and I want it to be fairly thick, but see how I'm getting those lines in there? That's kind of cool. I might use that to my advantage. But I want this a little thicker. So that I can move the other paint in it. Getting a little bit thin over here, but it's going to be okay. So you can kind of pull some of the extra paint out of your brush. Okay. Didn't think about where to put that down yet. So now the gold. I 
just want dots of. Why is everybody jamming up on me here? Okay, I'm going to have to pause you for a minute and clean out my bottles and maybe add a little bit of water. Oh yeah, that was goopy. Really goopy. Felt like it was shaking, but it wasn't. I'm going to stick just a wee bit of water in here. Not too much at all. Just enough to uh, try and break up some of those really thick spots. It's probably been two years since I've used a lot of these. Yep, there we go. And again, it doesn't matter your pattern, or at least for me it doesn't. I'm going to put that blob there. Because I am going to pull this around. And I need to kind of hurry because I see my turquoise is drying on the edges. And I could have probably used that. Hopefully the copper is not as bad. I should have shaken these before the video. Sounds like it's moving. There we go. And this will be similar, but with a solid blue background. I've got to pause you again. Oops, I've got a lid here. I don't know who he goes to. I'll have to figure that out. Um, boy, I'm really not coordinated today. Where's my skewer? We'll use this one. It's just a barbecue skewer. And I'm going to just pull. Oh, this is drying. I'm just going to pull this through. Your bottom color really needs to stay wet so that it moves better. It's okay. I've got enough built up, I think. But this is a little time consuming, but I've used this idea in the past for a piece that was, um, sort of celestial and it kind of gave you a really neat abstract background and again this is going to end up getting cut up in a mosaic um, and I might do some in stained glass too but since it is glass line you can put it on a fused project so if you really like the way this came out and you wanted to make a bowl out of it um, just 
cut it in the shape you want and design it from that aspect. So I could have done this on a round piece if I wanted to make a round bowl. And when I fired it, I would have been able to, um, I would have been able to put like a layer of clear either underneath or fired it first and seen if I wanted to do anything else to it and then added it. But I mean, this doesn't take, you don't have to be a, a classically trained painter, obviously to come up with some pretty cool patterns. And sometimes it's just good to clear your mind with these scraping things and sometimes I have to slow myself down because I um start to get like the mad scientist and <laughs> throwing things around and you can go back and forth that's fine um, you can do whatever you want it's your art but I wanted to show you a little bit of glass line um, because it's fun and it it helps when you need something in particular and you can't find it in a piece of glass I really don't want to go back and forth that much because then you get the little um, loop and I want this to all be linear Not so much curvy. Need to break up this batch a little bit. <laughs> but isn't that cool? I mean, it's really fun and you don't have to worry about, um, like if you did this with Frit, you may have some glass interactions and, um, that might be what you're looking for. This would be fun to do with like turquoise and French vanilla um, and frit and just wet your frit down to get the lines right. Uh, but that was not my vision for this next project. So. so that looks good to me. I am going to get these two into the kiln and then I will show you the outcome. And now this one, when you look at the back, it's not going to be super obvious because of the layer of turquoise down, but you'll see some. Okay, let me jump up on my step stool and turn you off for now. See you shortly. So we're going to have a look at these guys this morning. I need to take them out and wash them off a little bit. Not too bad. I did a full fuse on them just because glass line, um, oh, glass line likes to be hot. So that's going to cut up pretty cool. I know it looks really messy, but it's going to be what I wanted. Well, that looks like a bird, doesn't it? <laughs> so. Let me get the, uh, I had some extra space, so I threw two more little ones in. This one's just ooh, red and gold. Uh, I didn't fill it in very well. It's got a gap in the center there, but that's okay. It will get cut up too, I'm sure. This one was just a doodle. Looks kind of good on the red and gold, doesn't it? 
And then this one is, ouch. This one is not wanting to lift. There we go. That one started to get a small bubble. But it's going to get cut up too, so. Okay, so we've got them in the uh, light box here so we can see them better. They all did what I needed them to do because they're going to be cut up and put in a mosaic. Um, these two I actually just threw in because I had a little bit of space. So that was just a doodle. And that's just red and gold. This one's got some extra colors, but it will do exactly what I need it to do. And it's got some really neat swirls to it. And I can use both sides because I've got the side with the black on it. That really does look like a bird, doesn't it? <laughs> um, anyhow, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get to play with it some, maybe do fewer colors and uh, try pulling the, the rake through it. And I think I might come back and do one with just like maybe three or four colors and get some more of this, um, this pulled effect. I really like that. It's fun. It's like the paper. So please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. And I will keep experimenting and doing strange things. Thanks. Take care.